Hey guys, Panya here, and today's vlog is kind of a personal share, a vulnerable share. In fact, I'm not really sure that I that I want to post it, which is why I haven't created any coming soon posts on social media, which I usually do for the vlog. I'm literally going to record it and send it out before I talk myself out of it. I don't have any tools today, no techniques, just a deeply personal story that's inspired by a quote. And the quote is, um, if you want to create peace, go home and love your family. And I've, I've heard multiple iterations of the quote over the years. Sometimes I've heard it as, uh, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. And I've usually heard it attributed to Mother Teresa. And it's something that I think about a lot. I mean, how do I create peace in my heart, in my head, and in my home? How do I love my family, my husband, my children, in a way that they feel free, that we all feel free? together in community. And I think a big part of that is making sure that each of us feel seen and heard, each of us is empowered. But about 18 months ago, I became aware that I wasn't always doing that for my son. Let me give you some backstory here. See, my biggest influences growing up were my mother, who for much of my childhood was a single mother, and uh, my grandmother, who also raised her children as a single mother and then of course there were also uh, there was also my stepmother there were my godmothers there were my aunts you know I was surrounded by these larger than life figures these ladies who were so powerful who gave me so much I'm grateful for all they gave me I was surrounded by powerful women growing up and when I got married my husband and I sort of settled into this um, kind of female-centered household, a matriarchy, you could say, because it's what, what we were both used to. He'd also grown up with strong female figures around him. And hey, that suited me just fine because it put me at the center. But that started to change when I had my twins. I had a girl child and a boy child. You know, I learned in my studies, heck, my, my pediatrician even told me that girls develop more quickly than boys. And I was used to this sense of female power and I'd heard it so much from so many trusted sources that I accepted it as truth. Girls develop more quickly than boys. And I saw evidence of it in my home. I mean, my daughter was the first to walk, the first to talk, the first to be potty trained. That was all the proof I needed, because in my mind, it was fact. But it was also something that I repeated in front of my children, both of my children. They're too young to understand, I thought. Plus, when you think about the fact that girls have historically been relegated to a secondary position behind boys in schools and homes across the U.S., which is where I live, which is my context, why not elevate the girl, right? Again, that's what I told myself. The problem is I have two children, a girl child and a boy child. And where does that belief leave my son? I want both of my children to stand in their power, side by side as equals. And how does the belief that one is ahead of the other imprint on them both? It just, it didn't sit, sit right with me after a while. So I questioned myself and the inquiry revealed some things that surprised me because when I really thought about it, I realized that my son was the first to recognize numbers, uh, for example. He was the first to learn the alphabet. I mean, he has a great gift for symbols, for recognizing and remembering symbols. Why hadn't I noticed that? Uh, he loves machines, and if he's heard of a type of machine, a truck, you know, any, if he's heard of it, he can re re recall it, every part of it. And why hadn't I acknowledged that? Well, because these things were invisible to me until they weren't, until I cared enough to unpack my own beliefs. And what I know now is that my son did not develop more slowly than his sister. He developed differently. He excels in different areas. And now my husband and I strive always to see and honor the unique gifts of both of our children. And I offer this story as an invitation to you to unpack the old belief systems that may not be serving you or your family or your community. Because I believe that we're all called in this day and age to unpack the old hierarchies, you know, the ranking of one over the other in whatever form they show up in our hearts, in our heads, in our homes and in our communities. Because when we can do that, we can truly make space for everyone at the table. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until soon, much love.